Thanks for joining us today on Cece and Doc Talk, where we talk about everything under the sun. You never know quite what you're going to get, but you'll always be entertained. All right, we all know that Cece is not shy on words and very, um, <laughs> with, with her, and very, and very expressive. And so welcome to CC and Doc Talk. And this one here is the sound effects and conversations that you hear in a house where there's a cancer treatment happening, specifically <laughs> radiation and chemo. chemo. So also a warning, there could be some explicit language in this one because, um, yeah, it's just not good. So um, you were just saying that how much <laughs> our conversations in the house have been, uh, you know, really overtaken by conversations around side effects side effects symptomology like you know how do you how do you feel today how's the nausea today are your hands cold today can we go outside today is it too cold because the cold sensitivity in your hands i'm like no it's probably you know like a six today it might be better than yesterday and then you know can you can you get can a, you open I, the refrigerator today can I, can yeah can the, you open the refrigerator and get out the milk for there's me? wind that you know there's the, you're gonna have sparkles in your nose like, do or, i need to so heat up your water and you're like how about does your nose hurt today and then then you go to blow your nose and you're like oh my god it's bloody and then you're like so wait, oh my god my toenails are green <laughs> and then you're like and then and then amy's like what and i'm like come look at my toenails they're green and then it, i'm like no they're just dirty and you're like no they're green but I, <laughs> I think the reason why this conversation came up is because so i as as most of you know i have rectal cancer and so that is a cancer in a particular part of the body that people don't like to talk about. And I was just in the bathroom. And so I'm hearing the sound effects and they are nothing shy of a comedy skit. So let's just turn this into a comedy skit. So we're going to go through the list of side effects that, we're, yeah, that we have here. Cindy can add to it, whatever. So, I mean, the first one on the list is the cold sensitivity and neuropathy. So... <clears throat> So this my, is, my brand of chemo creates this cold sensitivity neuropathy. It's from the oxaloplatin, which is part of my chemo. I have five different chemo cocktail drugs. And um, it, it, makes your, it makes everything feel like electrical shocks when you touch, when you are exposed to or you touch cold. And it's not, it's fingers, it's toes, it can be my legs, it's my mouth, my throat. It's my nose, my nose, if I get cold air up my nose, it feels like there are fireworks going off. And then I immediately go into a sneezing fit. And then there's, a, the, oh, and there's also like a ton of snot with my chemo. Wait, 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 we're going through the list oh, over okay. here. So, the, all right, the fireworks, so I want you, the fireworks in the so nose what thing. are the, so what are the sound effects that we often hear around this cold sensitivity thing? You know, you go in the, you fuck. open up, you, you open the refrigerator, <laughs> there's a lot it up, of fuck. And you're like, ow, 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 trying to get something to over to, you know, from the refrigerator to the counter. You're like, ow, 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 ow. It's like, damn, it's still there. I know, because sometimes I, I don't, I forget my gloves or I don't put my gloves on to go in the fridge because I'm like, oh, it should be better today. And then I go to grab something and I'm like, ah. Is it still there? I feel ah! like I'm being. I feel like I'm being shocked. You're like here, and then sometimes you're like here, take this, and you almost <laughs> drop it. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, we're going to we're going to keep this moving right along because this is a comedy skit here, you know, as opposed to scientific explanations <laughs> of things. But so we all know what diarrhea and constipation are. So we're going to go back to the radiation. Mm. Right after you had your radiation, one of my. <laughs> One of my favorite comedy skits. My twenty five my twenty five days of radiation in five days. They call it short course now and it's it's very intense. And it happened right on Christmas Day when we couldn't get a hold of anybody. You had all of a sudden, you were like giving a baby out your ass. Yes. And so the hemorrhoids and the and birthing the, and the yes. birthing of baby and the and the and the contractions have, that I, were happening. I have so, never been in labor because I have not had children, but I can only liken it to to birthing a baby out my ass. And so what it sounded like to me was, "Ow, motherfuckers!" <laughs> Oh my God. And I could only sit and have this deep sympathy, but I was like, oh my God, you're just, you know, you're cracking me up. Oh, motherfucker. So, and then it switches over then to the constipation and you're like, oh, 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 Ow. Well, yeah, because now I have like a planet. I have a, I have a solar system of hemorrhoids <laughs> that is now being tweaked by the the harder stool that comes out with the constipation. It's just so it's every such a time, ride. every time you're Here's, in there, and, it's some sort of sound effect. And I almost feel bad right now because anybody, if anybody is about to go through cancer treatment and they're listening to Don't this, listen I'm probably to this. going to terrify just them. Just turn it off right now. Yeah, just, just turn it turn off. It because off. as you can see, but as you can see, I am laughing about it now. 
And, and I oh, truly, at the time, I never thought I would, but I made it through it. And we can now look back and laugh <laughs> at it of my days upon days of swearing and swearing and swearing and just screaming. And by the way, there is a proven fact that swearing and screaming and making noise during pain and specifically swearing actually helps pain management. So fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. All right. Here's the next on the list. Extreme fatigue and brain fog. So, oh. I mean, when you get sleepy, you're like, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm just going to sit right here. And then, <laughs> and then your brain fog. I turn into that really slow turtle from those old cartoons. The old, old cartoons. Do you remember that turtle that used to talk like this? And it's like my, it's like everything just slows down and I lose words and I lose sentences and I, my synapses are clearly not firing. I mean, and yes, you're kind of like, and you put it in that, 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 that white thing with sticky stuff on it. I'm like the envelope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. So the other one is oh, slow it down now for the chemo brain, <laughs> the eye disturbances. Oh God. Well, yes, eye disturbances are, they're crazy. My eyes are stuck. My eyes just got stuck. I just looked to the right and they're kind, and they're kind of now jittery looking. I, I get, this is weird. I get a little I, cross -eyed. My eyes are stuck. This I is get, what I hear. Yeah, if you wonder if chemotherapy affects your brain and your neurology, it, it, it is certain. And, and that was my first couple of rounds when my dosages were higher. Yeah. Um, and they, they did lower my dose because, you know, clearly we were probably causing brain damage. And um, hopefully I get those cells back at some point. But um, I, I told you, I said, what did I say to you about? I said, I'm, I'm probably losing more brain cells in chemo than I did in co and, partying in college. Yeah, you maybe, you said you should have saved those brain cells. <laughs> Not that I partied that much in college, but you know, like the average person. But but I remember back then, you know, we were always worried about killing our brain cells. And here I am, you know. Killing your brain killing cells. Killing my brain cells. Completely involuntarily. All right, are you ready for this next one? As soon as I say it, you're going to feel it, but then you have to describe it. First bite. Oh my God. So, um, it's like biting a lemon, right? When your jaw or something really sour and your jaw it is. just locks and your up. jaw locks up, but it's not just the locking up of the jaw. It's this, you get like this shooting pain that sort of extends toward your, toward your ears. And it's, 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 it's but all what like, what do you electrical. sound like when it happens? Right? Ah, 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 ah. Cause it's with every, <laughs> with every first bite of food, you know, as you start a meal or have a, if I have a snack, if any time passes in between eating, every first bite creates this sensation. And especially if it's cold, like a bite of yogurt. Oh. You, you know, when you bite yogurt, what does it sound like? Oh, ah, 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 ah. That's, that's my sound. So yeah, that's my, so first bite syndrome. And that's how I know these, it's still happening is because you know, you kind of go, ah. And some of these, by the way, you know, you tell your doctors about, and they're like, that's not very common. I'm like, well, clearly I am, you know, I am the unicorn because I got a bunch. Yeah, but it is more common. It's just, it's it not, it's not high on the it list. It is more common, especially if you're a part of like a Facebook group or any, any group or chat group or that, that, that yeah, those are common. Deal, lots of people have but the those. doctors are focused but, on all these but other the doctors stuff, really yeah. focus on peripheral neuropathy that can be more yeah. permanent. And so they, they focus a lot more on the that's not on my symptoms. radar. So it doesn't exist. Right. right. Yeah. Same. But way. it also doesn't make you a hypochondriac just so you know, well, like, the one that, that they don't believe exists or didn't know exists when you mentioned that to your doctor was acid, acid tears. tears. Yeah. Acid tears. So, so after, um, again, oxaloplatin, it's a, it's a wicked, wicked, um, a drug. It contains platinum. Um, and so, uh, it causes what we call painful tears or acid tears. And so for the first week after chemo, I can't cry. So imagine, imagine, you know, going through cancer treatment and being in a fight for your life and not being able to cry. Don't cry. That's don't why we use cry. a lot of humor. Don't cry. Please. Don't cry. So we have to use a lot of sarcasm and a lot of, we don't usually use sarcasm, but we've been using a lot of like morbid humor, anything. Well, that and we don't say I'm not. sorry. We've talked about that. We don't say I'm yeah. sorry. So we replaced it with, well, this sucks. Yeah. This anything, sucks. anything not to cry because when because I you do need, cry, yeah. my, my tears actually feel like there's an acid Burn. in my eyeballs and it actually makes it worse. And so then, yeah, so we just, I just yeah. don't cry. All right. And again, it was worse with the higher doses. All right. Well, and another symptom is headaches and nausea. And I'm going to yeah. do those together. And I just, your explanation to that was, I feel like I got really drunk. I mean, at least if you've like ever I had been, way, like you had way too, too much many martinis and hard alcohol. Yeah. Like I had way too many martinis and I'm fighting the flu at the same time. 
Yes. Yeah. And it's, and it's one of those things where, and I know a lot of people end up with, with the vomiting and, and knock on wood, I've managed to avoid the vomiting and, you know, doing certain things to try to, to, to try to avoid that. But it's always just under the surface and you just feel like fucking crap for a few days. A few days. Yeah. Yeah. But then it gets better. And then you get, and then I get, you know, then I get a week where I feel awesome and then I get to go do it all over again. I have to, you don't, you don't do a lot of the morning. You don't go, uh, every once in a while you're like, it's more like, oh, ooh, yeah, yeah. ooh. Yeah, right. and I get a lot of burping and a lot of reflux. That's actually the next one is indigestion and reflux. Yeah. Hiccups, burping, reflux, indigestion. If I could do a big belch like, right now oh. to imitate that, but you are like. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I'm going to throw up, but it's really just, it's just, it's just uncomfortable. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's just generally shitty. <laughs> and then on a rare occasion, you go to brush your teeth and you spit and you're like, oh, I think I just ate a frog because all of a sudden it's kind of like um, bloody and. Green, whatever, yeah, because sometimes my gums eating. bleed a little bit, and when yeah. I blow my nose, I usually get a little bit of blood. Usually, That's when you blow your nose, nose, it's like I just blew Rudolph through my nose. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look at this; it's all red. I just threw up, or I just blew out Rudolph. And, and in the grand scheme of things, believe it or not, like I actually think that I'm probably on the on the. I, I feel like I'm. I am. I don't have it as bad as some people because, like, I know some people get like full on nosebleeds that you know that yeah. don't stop. I mean, you know, there's just every body is different and every body deals with chemo differently. And my body apparently processes chemo really slowly, so I was a lot more miserable for you know my first couple of rounds until we lowered my dose back a little bit. Like I likened it to hazing because I said, you know, they try to you throw see every can... single thing at you to see what your body can take because again, you know, this is a life and death fight. They want to try everything they can at you to see what your body can take it. And at one point, my body was just kind of raving, raving on the red flag going, or white flag going, white flag. no, no, no. And literally the white flag because my b white blood cells keep tanking. And that, thank, you know, in some ways, thankfully for me, you know, my immunocompromised status is actually what caused them to lower the dose less than my side effects. So I wow. was sort of fortunate and not fortunate, but now, of course, you know, I double mask everywhere. And folks, please remember those immunocompromised people when you're still running around. We do still have a little bit of COVID running around and you know, me getting COVID is a bad thing. That's just not Alrighty, All right, back, back to, to the sentence. comedy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to, um, let's talk. Well, I just want to, you know, the, the whole sinus and, and the bloody nose things. It, and it's from not. my, from my perspective, this is what I get. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, you get After you blow your clean and blow your nose and your clean it, you're like, check this out, man. There so. is there is no modesty and no dignity in cancer. There really isn't. I mean, truly, like you have seen now my butt. You know my your stool. I we we you know. I know you've seen my poop. You've seen my you know. You played with my green toenails. You you know you've had to examine my butthole. I don't know how many times to <laughs> check out the hemorrhoids. I mean, literally, it is a disease without dignity and modesty. So you, well, we did have to put like this thing called proctofoam up there, and I liken yeah. that to and like putting the the uh, the the can of Ready Whip up there and spraying it. So that'll give you a different red, visual of Ready Whip. No Sorry one's ever going to be able to have Ready Whip again. No. All right, you want to talk anything about that whole? All right, um, snot. snot, snot. I have not tons and tons of, of snot. snot. For some reason, the, the my chemo regimen, which is full fox six, for some reason it affects your mucosa and your mucous membranes, and so I have just constant amounts of snot. And what that sounds like to me is, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> sorry. That's why I'm not allowed to say sorry, but sorry. sometimes it still comes <clears throat> out. Sorry. All right, and what about this? <laughs> We're gonna end on this. There's a couple other here. Um, you know, there's a throat fatigue, and oh, yeah. there's like my throat gets oh. really tired, especially when we do the podcast, and it gets kind of sore and scratchy and, sort of, and stuff. Yeah, and then exactly. what about the throat paralysis, where all of a sudden that's a scary oh, one? Oh, but that, you have to. That one's fucked up, and it and it's really it's really actually very scary. So usually the first couple of days after chemo, there are at least a few instances where when I am eating food my swallowing mechanism stops working. And so I could have a bite of food in my mouth, completely chewed and ready to go down the hole, and I go to swallow and I can't. Now I can still breathe and that's good, but um, being somebody who has always, again, I think I mentioned this in our my um, Past Life Regression podcast, being somebody who's always had like this weird fear of not being able to breathe and having, and, and, and then, you know, thinking that in a past life, you know, somebody asphyxiated me like, I can breathe, but I can't swallow. And for some reason that feels a lot like, so I have to sit there, like Amy will be sitting next to me and she'll be like, I see it. And I'm like, 
I can breathe. I can breathe. And that's it. It's I'm like, good. Okay, I can, can you breathe? breathe? I can breathe. Can I can't breathe? swallow, but I can breathe. And yeah, then for some reason, we've never liked to swallow. And anyway, then, so. and then you have to. Then I have. Then I get to show you my food because I spit whatever I have in my mouth. That's <laughs> all chewed up. I just spit it right on my plate, and then I. And, it's and just I, like a. It's a hairball. Like it's a like cat I can, you a present, you know. It's like I can kind of trigger the mechanism again if I drink some liquid, but I don't want to drink liquid with food in my mouth then because I'm afraid that you know I might get stuck. So I just I spit all the food out on the plate. So Amy gets gross out to the max and oh, then I, I reach over and eat it <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gross to the max. all right the last one we're going to talk about is this much muscle twitching now i know you have it in your hands and a little bit like that but this last round you turned into peter rabbit <laughs> oh my god so sometimes i get this weird sort of paralytic feeling in my right thumb which is a little that's a little scary too because like honestly there are sometimes after chemo i'm just like just watch me for signs of a stroke would you but then you think half of these side effects are signs of a stroke so who would know right. if you're having a stroke or if you're just having chemo side effects so yes last time chemo turned me into <laughs> peter rabbit your nose started peter twitching. rabbit my nose started and your eyebrows uncontrollably and my eyebrows and everything with it and i we were like, what? It wouldn't fuck? stop. And the only way to make it stop is for you to put your hand up there. And, yeah, I had to hold and, my, I had to hold my But forehead. your commentary was hysterical. We do have a video of that. We'll post it on our social media. It's, it, it, it is, yeah, wow. So anyway, I just wanted to share with all of you the, um, the comedy show that is in our house these <laughs> days because Cindy is so just truly... She's very expressive and explicit through this process <laughs> and, and of course can't cry. So we laugh a lot and, and I tell you what you have been, I do, I do feel bad that you are going through this. It breaks my heart. <laughs> yet you have also been my constant source of amazement <laughs> in your strength you and your not amazement, right? Amusement. Yeah. I mean, all right. Amusement. <laughs> you have been a source of amazement in terms of your, your tenacity and your wherewithal and your strength and your courage and amusement with your commentary. So Thank on you. that note, on a more serious note, I do want to say if you are going through this treatment, it's super important to pay attention to your side effects and to track them. And so the reason why our discussions in this house a lot center around side effects is because it's really important to know what's happening and be able to share that with your doctor. But it's also important that your care partner know what's happening with you so that if something did happen more serious, they would be able to go, oh, well, earlier she was experiencing this, this, and this, and that then can help with, with diagnosis. Yeah. So super important there. And on that note, I got to run to the bathroom again. So see y'all <laughs> <Okay>. later. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to CC and Doc Talk. We'd love for you to follow us on social media at CC and Doc. That's C C N D O C. And you can visit our website at ccandoc.com. We also take monthly donations to support this broadcast if you're so inclined. We'd love to hear your comments, suggestions, and questions, and we'll do our best to respond. Thanks, and have a fantabulous day.